Gorilla Trek day two. It rained a lot yesterday afternoon and last night, so it's quite wet outside. I'm not sure what that means for our hike up these treacherous volcanoes. No, I'm just kidding, but it probably will be quite muddy. So honestly, I don't know what that entails. We're about to find out. Easy. Oh, right? It's great. It's good? Yeah. <laughs> so it's good though. It's a high altitude, you know, yeah. compared to where it came from. Yeah, here is about 2,500 meters above sea level, so it means it's very high. Special, special family. You are very excited to know why it's special. The group was called the 13 before. After the death of the father, the young silverback was not able to control the family. One female took over. For five months, there was a silverback. After five months, there's a, a silverback we don't know where he came from. Maybe in Uganda, maybe in Rwanda, maybe in Congo. <coughs> he came and joined the family, they welcomed him well. And the guy said, I'm happy now mm -hmm. to find more females here. After a couple of weeks, he went back to see his original family and he brought that family to join. Uh, 13 and the big group became 29 members. Oh. Oh, wow. It's uh, such a big group for him to satisfy all, all those females to was not uh, easier. So some females left, others uh, stayed here and uh, after seeing that uh, situation, how a silver tried to manage a big, a big, a such a big group like that, he brought his group to join the original family from uh, seven gorillas to 29, we said this is special. Remember we spent one hour with them, we wear the mask, we're not allowed to touch them. They can give you a kick, they can slap you. Don't slap back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know what you can do, maybe to sit down, maybe to stop to take the pictures. Don't run away. When you are running, they run after you, and to assist you, it will be very hard. So stay together all the time. And make peace sound. You know how? Very good. How is that? <laughs> it means everything is fine. Whereas have more than 16 different vocalizations they make when they're happy, when they're moving, when they're playing, when they're resting, when they're warming up. But for us, we make a peace one. The park was bigger. Six years ago, 
the park uh, was so big, 55% of the, 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 the forest gone mm -hmm. because of farming. And now we, the, we plan to ex ex extending the park. That's why I said you, you have VIP, your money goes to conserve the gorillas and also ex extension of the park. Let's go. That's why we call them mountain gorillas. Celery. Oh. Gorilla is eating celery. Oh, it's celery? Yes. Oh. Bamboo shoots is a favorite food they like to eat. Bamboo shoots is, uh, the, is a two season of bamboo shoots. Um, from March to June, June to and September to December. So that is the time the gorillas like to eat bamboo shoots and uh, some of them they are, you know, they are changing their behavior completely. It looks drunk. like a drunk. <laughs> no research about that, but it looks like. I just stepped in a deep puddle. My right foot is soaking wet. And the gorillas are moving up, up from the bamboo. There's no much food to eat. They were here. You see that they were here recently. Now they are moving up. So we are going to follow them. Located them. I'm not sure if you can see, but a little up the mountain. So we're gonna try and make our way up there. Should be interesting. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but this is pretty well, Channeling my inner Nims Dai Persia 14 Peaks. If you haven't seen that documentary, you definitely should. Maybe they go up to the top. But now they're here. Yeah, you made it. Gorillas are here. You made it. You see him? The guy. Thank you. 
We're almost to the bottom. That was hands down one of the coolest experiences. You know what? I take that back. That was the coolest experience of my entire life. Wow. So you are special, you are lucky. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.